just the German way. We want to have control over it. Welcome back to MTD CNC. You see this beast beside me? Yeah, it is massive. Today, I get to talk to this famous guy who you probably already know, my buddy Ed here, to find out actually what's going on here in Germany in this area. That's why I bring the experts. Ed, this is huge. This is massive. I know you do yeah. everything here in Germany locally, but this is the assembled process that we're getting ready to put onto the machine behind us, right? Correct. How does this all work? First of all, as you just mentioned, everything is done here locally. Uh, we are very unique in some respects because anything that is unique to our machines, we actually machine in-house. Heat treat, machine, grind. Some of the sub-assemblies like we have here, they're done locally also um, at a local supplier. Hydraulics, electrics are not our forte. So we let the experts do that stuff. Then we bring it in and we marry it to the machine, which all of the machine is us. That's why I brought you in as well. We let the experts do their job, right? So what I'm looking at, and you mentioned, we have a lot of unique machines here and you do a lot right. in house. And that's so important for the audience to understand because Index is a leader, a global leader in what you do. The world knows you. I've been doing this for a long time. In fact, just around the <laughs> corner is a building that's over 100 years old and considered historic. So, true. so the area we're standing in, talk about bringing everything and doing it here, doing everything locally. That's really important to the Index team, isn't it? When they talk about German engineering, precision, flexibility, efficiency, that's all mm -hmm. done right here. It's very important to us because it's consistency of the products. Yes. From machine to machine to machine, part to part to part, you want that consistency over and over and over again. We like to keep total control over it. It's just the German way, we wanna have control over it. So by ever doing everything here locally and doing the assembly locally, all the components locally and all of the machining locally here, it just makes for a better machine. I absolutely agree. And I know the purpose of our conversation today, Ed, is to let the audience know that here in Germany, here in the south of Germany is where all this is done. But I got to admit, I'm looking over your shoulder and I see something I've never seen before. You want to take a closer look? I would love to take a look. Let's invite the audience as well. So when I look at this machine, Ed, am I looking at two five axis areas? And are you guys the only one that do this? This machine is very unique in the industry and we are the only ones that do do this with two full five axis heads in the same machine. Complete tool change, some static tools. We're very unique in the industry. It's not for everybody, but with the right application, it can't be beat. If I had a machine shop, I'd tell you it'd be for me right now. And when I look <laughs> at this, I've had conversations a lot when it comes to uh, adding multiple operations and being able to do it all in one, reducing Correct. the opportunity. And maybe some of us are perfect out there. It's certainly not me, but reducing the opportunity someone might have to make a mistake by switching from machine to machine, or the fact that we're all fighting for Correct. real estate space and how, many, how much area we can save by combining it. And I also see this head, which is nice and small, which means I can have bigger work pieces. You wanna to touch on all the different aspects of why an investment in a machine like this would benefit a potential customer? Well, exactly what you were saying, doing more in one. The ability to go ahead and machine on a main and a counter spindle and having five axis capabilities with two separate milling spindles, that's gonna reduce cycle time tremendously. You can do five axis work on the main, pass the part to the counter spindle, and then you're gonna go and be able to do five axis work on that simultaneously as the main. Reducing cycle time, reduce piece part cost. Yeah, I like all of that. And just to be clear to the audience as well, we're talking op 10, op 20, except a lot of times what we see is I need to do all, or at least the majority of say my live milling on side op 10, right? Correct. Whereas when I get to op 20, I better just be doing the final work. Maybe it's a Correct. grooving, maybe it's a cutoff, something. Whereas here, I can really be as creative as I wanna be on both op 10 and op 20. They're identical. The milling spindles are identical the main and counter spindle, and that's why we call it a counter spindle and not a sub spindle. There's nothing sub about it. Clever. It's exactly the same spindle. Clever. So you can balance your work from op 10 and op 20 on the same machine and well, not overload one or the other. Well, this one, as we look down the row, are all gonna go out the door soon to customers who have invested Correct. in the index technology, starting with the fact that it's all done here, that massive piece we started in the conversation, yes. moving over here to something a lot of us had maybe never seen before and get excited about. Correct. So Ed, I'm gonna get you on camera more often because I always get to learn. <laughs> and for the audience, thank you all for watching. Ed, you're incredible. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.